Videos, wo die kleinen Drecks herkommen. Uh, Bill, come on back. Can you see, as, as uh, soon as the other Bill is all set, you and I are going to create a storm sequence using some heavy duty mechanical effects. But before we do, let's check up on our skipper. Hey, uh, Bill, now would be a really good time to put that hood up. Oh, and uh, you see those two strings on the side? Side of your hood? If I were you, I'd pull them real tight. Trust me. Now, the scene begins as Dina rocks the pilot house to simulate motion on the high seas. But to make it more believable, I'll add some rain. And in just a moment, I'll add wind, but I need all of you out there to cue the action. When I count to three, I need everyone to yell at the top of their voice, dump it. And, uh, Bill, when they yell dump it, take this lever, push it all the way over and hold it there. Okay? All right, looks like he's ready. Is everybody else ready? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three. You're next. Now we'll take that scene we've just shot and edit it together and we'll put it to our miniature tugboat, which we'll shot in a tank just like this using these same wind and rain effects. We'll see how miniatures, mechanical effects, and two highly trained professionals work together to create this classic high scene adventure. <laughs> trees is a four-story multicolored building that's the home we have production bungalows that's where the production crews who film here at the studios have their home base bungalow one and three is currently occupied by mortal kombat conquest a new show based on the book the display cases on our left have costumes worn by renee russo and mel gibson and ransom harrison ford in six days seven nights robin williams from disney's flubber glenn close in disney's 101 dalvations and Ben Affleck and Steve Buscemi's costumes from Armageddon. We are proud to say here in Florida, we have the largest working wardrobe in the world with over two and a half million garments. Over to the left is a prop storage area for Mortal Kombat Conquest. Also, you can see they're getting ready to take some special effects in there using the large green screen in the back. See where they got to recreate different areas of the Magic Kingdom on our sound stages for the filming of Marvin's Room, starring Robert De Niro, Meryl Streep, Diane Keaton, and Leonardo DiCaprio. 
Uh, here at our back lot, we have the ability to take you from the bottom of the ocean to the canyons of California. The bottom was sculpted to recreate the look of the ocean floor. Shows like Thunder in Paradise and the TV movie The Bermuda Triangle film California, and then it was edited together for a show that took place in Miami. Living next door is Alice's home from the Disney Channel's Adventures in Wonderland. And across the street to our right, we have the home to Empty Nest. The TV neighbors to the Golden Girls starred Richard Mulligan, Dinah Manoff, Marsha Warfield, and of course, Bear the Dog as Dreyfus. Now coming up here on the right is a house unlike most homes you may have seen in your neighborhood. This is the tree house from George of the Jungle, starring Brendan Phil Street. That's our New York City street set. We'll come back here in just a few moments. Right. Hi. Last car. Hey. Madonna. The yellow helicopter can be seen at a film in the Universe of Energy attraction at Epcot Center, starring Bill Nye, the science guy. And the convertible, the truck, and large tank are from Steven Spielberg's Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade, starring Sean Connery and Harrison Ford. The Acme Waste Trucks are from Disney's 101 Dalmatians, and the Three Blue Sedans are from the hit film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. These were all used to represent many stages of destruction that one car went through. This is Judge Doom's Toontown Dipmobile, and right behind it, the orange trolley, it's really a modified city bus. These spaceships are from Starship Troopers, starring Casper Van Diem. Thunder, starring Roy Scheider and Daniel Stern, and the GB stump plane and Hughes aircraft are from the Rocketeer. Now, if you look across the canal to the right, you get a great backstage view of Residential Street. Not a lot of privacy here in this neighborhood. As you can see, all of the architectural details were designed to go just out of camera's eye. That's because in Hollywood, we only build what a camera needs to see. That's a trick we call saving money. <laughs> now, up ahead of us is the set I was telling you about, those special effects. We got a green light. We're going to go inside, folks. Now, we'll be driving over a very bumpy bridge, so please remain seated at all times. Also, you might want to grab a hold of small items such as bags, purses, cameras, glasses, hats, and small children. We wouldn't want anything or anybody falling over. here for just a few moments while you can take some pictures of our set. Now the truck over there is straight from our boneyard. There's no way we could drive it in though, so we had to race it over the walls and lower it in by way of a large frame. And you'll notice the set appears to be very wet. That's because they were testing out a bad weather effect. Obviously, a day like today, we're not sure what Mother Nature is going to do, but still, the rain must fall on you. So located right above the shuttle, out of camera's eye, are water nozzles that spray the water out in a crisscross of circular motion. And it looks a lot like this. Thanks a lot, guys. Now, the rain that you see falling is only falling over half of the set. That's because to the camera's two-dimensional eye, it will appear like it's raining across the entire
Bei CD bitte jetzt wechseln zum dritten und letzten Teil. <lacht> 